Okay, so I've been doing a lot of speed tests recently on micro SD cards, and uh, I've just bought one which I think is going to be faster than all of them, which is this one, the SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gig, and uh, so I'm going to give that a try today. But also, I managed to find this, uh, which is a PCM PCIe adapter. Now that's not going to be any good for me, uh, but I had this for a Commodore Amiga, which I eventually sold because so many things weren't working; it was just too much hassle. Uh, and it was my original one from back in the day. But I've still got this compact flash card. And uh, it's only 2 gig. And uh, I think Raspbian will go on it. But if not, I'll put Puppy Linux on it. But I just thought I'd have a look at it and uh, see how it ran. Uh, to run it, I'm going to use uh, this little adapter. It's an advent adapter, which has got a compact flash socket on it. It's only, uh, I'm sure it's only USB 2 because it's quite old. But, uh, but yeah, so... Let's try and test the fastest and possibly the slowest. Okay, so let's pop the Extreme Pro into the Pi and plug it in. Okay, so it boots up nice and fast. So let's start writing Raspberry Pi OS to this Compact Flash Ultra 2 2 gig. Uh, now let's pop that in. It goes in upside down. You see you've got loads of pins. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, loads of little tiny pins on compact flash. And you've got to be careful not to bend them. Uh, now this is... So I'm turning into my mate Vince because I've mad actually managed to bend one of the pins because I put it in upside down. I think I've got it straighter now. So this one is slightly... I'm using my phone to see it because it's super small. Still don't like the look of that one. Oh, is that it? No, that one's still up. I think that's probably it. Let's try and pop that in. Get it the right way around this time. No, it's still not going. Oh, that's because it's the wrong way up. No, it's still not going. Oh, see that, look, whichever one that one is. This was meant to be a shorter, this was meant to be a shorter video. You can see that um, something's not quite right. <laughs> But now I've got access. Now I've got access to this. I should be able to sort that out. So after quite some time, I'm nearly straight. I think that's probably going to be enough to get it to go in. I hope so. Uh, so let's not worry about all the casing and things like that. So which way does it need to go around? So there's a thin edge and a wide edge. So I managed to finally get it sorted, and uh, it it uh, it is working and it's recognised. I wanted to just uh, give a shout out to USB Mini. Why they ever changed that for USB micro, which is the worst connection on earth uh, and caused loads of problems. I never had a problem with USB mini. It always plugged in. Uh, it was very easy to work out which way was which. Nearly got it wrong. Um, and uh, so let's switch over to screen capture now. Okay, so uh, you can see open in file manager. Well, let's open it and have a look. Uh, so I haven't looked at this for a while. So games, oh, I've got speedball in there, that. This was me trying to get it to work. I had it in the root and I also had it in a folder to get it to work with the Amiga and it never did. Uh, there was some something wrong with the, the BIOS or something there was, and, and other things that stopped it working. But there's also a folder of photos in here. Now, what are these? Uh, let's have a look. This must be from CEX. So... Was it Win looks like Windows looks like Windows 7 all the same screen yeah it's nothing to do with me I can see there's a phone case in the background there that is a is that a phone or a phone case there's all sorts of bits of cables and brown tape some scissors setting up a rather nice looking HP laptop can I flick through the next oh yeah Another HP laptop photo. More passwords. More passwords. Oh, look, SIM cards. And we've got uh, pass and fail, stock list. East Ham. SIM card, micro SIM. Interest in this. And then more passwords. I think they used to test. More password, more password. Uh, they used to test the. Um, 
the cards when they were bought in and that was just probably uh, just randomly shooting the camera just to see that it worked and as you can see it does work so I need to format that now I don't think I'll save any of those photos uh, so accessories no oh, it doesn't always amazes me that uh, it should come with Raspberry Pi Imager shouldn't it because uh, Imager is, uh, is a really useful piece of software they should just put it in a standard install Let's install that now. So I just need to quickly install that now. Always comes up somewhere near the end. There you go. You can always scroll to the bottom and it's there at the top. Tick that. Apply. Okay, so Raspberry Pi Imager is on there now. Comes under Accessories. Choose OS. And Array. I see uh, RetroPie is on there. I don't think RetroPie was there before, was it? I could be wrong. Uh, arrays. Choose SD card. 2 gig, I know that's the one. What does it say about it? Generic Compact Flash EOS Digital. Yeah, and right. It's a good way, Raspberry Pi Imager is a good way of just formatting all sorts of cards and USB sticks, anything that's not working. Quite a lot of things it's saved for me that, that couldn't be formatted by something else. Right, so that's a blank 2 gig volume. So let's write to that then. So choose OS. Now I've already got Oh, no, I haven't on this one. Oh, it's only a gig download. So, one gig, choose SD card, compact flash, and write. Oh, it needs, so it needs 3.8, so I can't do the normal speed test on it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So I'm going to have to put uh, Puppy Linux on there and to check and find something else that will check the IOPS. Right, okay, so uh, let's not worry about that for now. Let's unplug that drive and just run the speed test that I was going to do all along. So, accessories, diagnostics, run tests. So, show log. So, 38,969254.8. That's pretty good. Right, let's do another another couple of those just to just to see that it's consistent. Pop that over there. Okay, so that's the three results. Let's see which one was the fastest. 38035, 38258258, 37959629548. I think we're gonna go with that one. They're all pretty much the same. So, but I think I'll save this one. Copy that and open up on my NAS drive. I've got a test with them all on. So this is when I tested a load of them. So, yeah, fa so the Kingston was the fastest one I had. Although the random write speed is still faster on the Kingston, look, 1521. Oh, so you could argue the Kingston is, could be better for an operating system. Sequential write speed, random write speed. It's, there's not much in it. I'm gonna put it at the top anyway. Uh, so, but it's not, there's not much in it, although it was cheaper than the, uh, because of the price I got it for, it was cheaper than I paid for the Kingston. So, SanDisk, so pretty good results really. Um, obviously these are both A2 cards, um, so better spec cards, let's put that on there. Uh, and all the rest, well that SanDisk Extreme, if you look at the other video, if you wanna know a bit more about this, but that was used in my GoPro, so it wasn't really a fair test for that one. But, uh, but yeah, pretty pretty good results, really. Pleased with that. So the next step is to try and get Puppy Linux on the SanDisk Ultra. So I think I'll download that. I don't know, maybe I've got, I might already have Puppy Linux on my, on my NAS drive. Let's have a look and see if that's the case. So Pi Images. No, I haven't got Puppy Linux, so I'm going to have to download that. But I think that was pretty easy to find. So I'm downloading the latest version, uh, Raspub 8.2.1. Uh, and that's got a couple of minutes to go. It's 372 megabytes, so it's pretty small, uh, but that should go on this compact flash card. I thought there was a newer version um, that was called Bionic Pup because I'd seen a screenshot and I couldn't remember it looking quite like uh, it did. But when I go to the blog, it doesn't look like there is a newer version. It's because uh, any announcement for an OS, the last one is actually this one, which was in January, and I have covered that uh, on very boot so I don't need to go through that again but I will have a look uh, and see how it runs on the compact flash and if I'm lucky I'll find something that will uh, speed test the card that's in there 
Okay, so that's downloaded. So let's close this down, go to the downloads folder. Now, I don't know if I need to, to uh, unzip that or not. So I'll try and do it without unzipping it first. So use custom, raspup, open, choose SD card. Need to plug it in. Click on that and hit right. Ah, oh, 2.1 gig, look. So even Puppy Linux is too big for my two gig card. What a shame. Okay, so in the end, I decided to write Raspberry Pi OS Lite to the Compact Flash card because it's a tiny image. And uh, I'm gonna see if that works. Now, this won't USB boot as it is, so I need the 14 files from my USB boot video. So let's close that down. So I've plugged it back in again. Uh, let's find my 14 files. One of the best things to have is a network attached drive because it's always available on your network. So as long as you're on your network, uh, it's always there. Right, these are the 14 files. So let's drag them into the boot partition and overwrite. Now I don't tend to do things without a graphical user interface because I don't really know what I'm doing a lot of the time. Um, but uh, I'll give it a go and I'll see if I can find something uh, in terminal that, that will allow me to speed check this card. Hopefully I can install agnostics uh, and that will do it, but soon find out. Right, so I need to shut that down, remove the SD card that it's running from and reboot from the compact flash card. So the 14 files added has enabled USB boot. So it is now booting from the compact flash card. Okay, so now I've plugged in an ethernet cable, it'd come out uh, so it didn't have any internet. Uh, and I'm installing agnostics now. Seems to be installing loads of stuff. I guess it needs other things to run the program which would normally be in there with an ordinary Raspbian installation. Okay, and I've been looking while that's been installing and I found someone who's managed to do it. So let's see. Okay, so I need the CD command. Uh, and then sh sd test dot SH. Oh, it's working. It's actually working. And I'm going to have to write these down because I can't copy and paste from this. So I don't, I don't know how to do that. I'm sure there's someone will know. A lot of my subscribers know an awful lot about Linux. I've been using it for, for many years. Oh, fail, fail, fail. That's all right, though. Oh, random write speed is six. The read speed was all right, though. So I need to grab a pen and and actually write this down. So sequential was 7965, random write was six, <laughs> and random read, read is 1022, which is a fail, but I reckon that beats some of those NetAct cards, uh, which is interesting. Oh, and it's trying number two, Still getting six, getting slower on the sequential write speed. Uh, random write speed, six, random read speed, a thousand and five, it's getting slower. Now usually they, they get a bit faster. I'll let it do um, all of the tests. Okay, and it's still, it's still six. Oh, it's fastest, uh, 8833 3 and 1037. So I'm gonna go with the last test Okay, so that's enough of uh, not having a graphical user interface for me. So I'm gonna quit out of that and I'm gonna launch in Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, so this feels better. Uh, let's get that text document up. So here we are. So uh, let's copy this, paste that in there for the record. So what is it called? It's a SanDisk Ultra 2, two gigabyte uh, compact flash. Okay, so those are the results. <laughs> Better put fail on here. 
Okay, so that, that's more accurate. Uh, so those are the results. So 8833, is that better than anything else that I've tried? No. So that's the worst out of all my SD cards. Uh, random rights people, I don't need to check. Six is definitely the worst, uh, and it should be 500. Uh, random read speed, 1037. I didn't think that was too bad. Target is uh, 1500. So... Uh, the worst I had on the test was the NetAC, which is 1365. I'd have liked it to have beaten that, but unfortunately it didn't. So, uh, yeah, so 1037. Oh, well, uh, at least I got it to work in the end. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to help anybody because nobody's going to do this on a compact flash, although I'm, I am tempted to try and put something like Diet Pie or something else on there as an OS just to see how it runs. Uh, okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.